pads or where they're supposed to be on the roof line, I'm going to give you a hint. See that hole right there? That's right, that's where the valve guide or the um, valve cover bolt hole goes. On a stock set of Chevrolet cylinder heads, if you put a 1205 entrance, that has to bust through. If you don't see that busted through, then, that, then what they've done is they've given you a funnel. They've made the outside of the port big and pretty like a 1205, but when you come inside here, guess what? The airflow and the cross-sectional area just isn't there. A lot of you say, oh God, you know you busted through the head. Well, it's real simple, guys. When you put the valve cover bolt in, you put a little bit of red RTV silicone on the threads, and when you tighten that down, you'll never have a vacuum leak. But it's always going to bust through, and usually what it does, it'll bust through on this side, but look here. It doesn't bust through on that side. When you go to this over here, it's going to bust right here, which it already started coming through, and not on that side. It's uh, usually coarse shift on the left to right ports when it's upside down. The one will always go through. But that's how you can tell if you get a set of these that somebody's really went in there and cut them and done the work. Also, I think I can get this. Looky there. There's where the um, um, push rod, or the, uh, excuse me, the head bolt tube right there. See it? It's barely caved away. That's where the tubes go, where that center bolt hole is. Now if you look down them ports, look what a straight, beautiful wall that we got coming all the way from the roof and pulling out and exiting. That's the way it's supposed to be. Um, did have some information. Mr. Amhoff told me that when he gets the heads back, he's going to flow them on the bench up there that they flowed them before they left and came here. So we got the numbers of what they were when he sent the heads to me, and he is going to uh, post the flow numbers along with the head once he receives it so he can verify the numbers that they are. Can't wait to see it. Typically though, when I do want these to, these things, they end up somewhere around 185 to 190 cc runner volume and uh, usually they'd hit between 265 and 280 CFM at 28 inches. If I had to draw an average, I'd say most of the time they come out around 270 to 272 at 28. But remember, that's with a 185 cc port. So, I mean, those are flow numbers that some 200 cc heads can't touch. All right, anyway, I'm gonna go on. I'm, in a minute or two, I'll let you, I'll show you how I stop and blend it. But now there's a trick to this. There's not been no measurements yet. How can I do that? I gotta blend it first and get all of the port shaped and contoured. Then I'll go in there and this head is gonna get three or four pickup points. That's all with the amount of money that he's paid me or the time that I've got to do it. When I say pickup points, I mean measurement points that I'm gonna pick that I deem to be the most important that this head has to have to get the airflow and to equalize out through the head. The more pickup points, the more money it is. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and do a couple and I'm gonna let you watch me blend one of them in and roll it in. And then once we get that done, then it's time to put the epoxy in the tubes and I'm gonna show you how I finish busting that wall and caving it in. Okay, what I'm gonna do here is take this egg. It is a double cross cut one. And I'm gonna really try to keep my hands out of this. Just blending. I'm not putting a tremendous amount of pressure on it. I'm blending where the trenches roll in. Now notice this side here, and I'm really careful right around in there.
see how the trenches are disappearing. Yep, you can see that valve cover hole. Believe it or not, this is the next to the last step. When I'm completely done, really get the texture smooth, I'm going to go in here with a straight and roll it in. And this takes what little bitty bumps of length, and I leave the head with that finish. I do not polish this any smoother because I do want some roughness to atomize the fuel. But that's how it's done in blending with this here. Taking the trenches out, getting it rolled in before I do the measuring to it. All right. Wow, quite an episode. All right, all the final blending is done. I've got it where it's, there's no real bad ruffles and ridges. Really, there's hardly any. It's blended in really well. And uh, the only thing I've got to do now, oh, I have to, uh, Clear the tube holes out. I promised y'all I was going to show you how I do that. Because you remember, they break away, and the best way to do it, I take a much smaller burr than the hole diameter. And just lightly make a little pass. And what that does is that finishes knocking whatever was in there out. All right, now it's going to be rough on the outside, so after you hit it with that, I'm fixing to go in there in a minute with a sand roll, but let's take a look exactly at how this come out. All right, let's move on in here. All right. Wow. That is so much better than what it was. And there's no trenches. They're about all gone. I got a little bit of leveling to do in just a couple of spots to really make them perfect. But see, because I'm going to put epoxy in there, I'm going to have all this overhang. So I've got to go in there anyway and clean the epoxy out once it hardens. So I'm going to save that last bit of touch-up for the very end and also my pickup points. That'll be all really that's left after that, which on this head, like I said, three or four, just to get, you know, somewhat close, push rod, short turn, bowl, make sure they're somewhat close. You'll be amazed at how precise volume to volume port is with just four pickup points. It, it really is amazing. All right, so let me try to give you another view here on the side. All right, as you can see, you see the big gaping holes there where the tube goes. Yep. They're ready to put them in an epoxy. And after that, I'll do my final touch-ups on it before I put the valve guides in and, and do the valve job. So anyway, let's go ahead and get the epoxy in these turkeys in these tubes. <laughs> 